Hey guys, Slashing Critics here. This will be a quick guide basically on the Rook Saw. Now, firstly, you need to grab one saw piece that's going to be right next to Pack Punch. Next, you need to go to the artillery base, and there's going to be three locations for a handlebar sort of thing, handle for the saw gun. Whatever. Yeah, once you get that, you need to go back to the saw blade, you're going to be able to make it and buy for about 2500 points, so it's a little bit expensive, but it's decent enough. Once you do that, you're going to get ready to start harvesting a spine, so it might take a few attempts, it might take probably three or so, but you're just going to do your L2 and then R2 straight into them and try and get a charged spine. Most of them are going to be dull ones, but you will get a charged one. You then need to put on your on the table itself and then you're going to get killed, so it will start to grab like electricity charge, like a normal battery in the soul box sort of thing. It's not that hard, then after that you just grab it for an extra 500 points, it will be able to use ranged attacks. After that you need to look for Enigma devices. So far only 5 are located. Maybe a sixth one somewhere, but so for right now it's gonna be RNG. So you need to find each of the locations. They're all in the video to make it a bit easier, but you just make sure that you know which ones you're going for and which coordinates you need to shoot. You'll also probably need to charge the AA gun again just so you'll be able to shoot them. I had charged up, so I did it during the match. It's gonna be trial and error, but you'll hear a ding sound when the battery is actually there. Then after that, you just need to go put your pack punch up and then go pack punch through ripsaw, and that's all there is to it. Hope you do that, guys, and I'll see you next video.